Hi you guys, welcome back. Okay, so I know I don't really be talking about my personal business a lot on my channel. Some of you guys that have been here for a long time, you guys already know my husband is also a YouTuber. His name is AB. His channel is Smoking and Grilling with AB. I'll link it somewhere. But anyway, <laughs> he works all around the country and so a lot of times I'll have to leave home and go spend some time with him and hang out and all that good stuff so I've been gone for like a week and a half and of course when I came back home y'all know I had some packages waiting on me because your girl has a shopping for makeup addiction let me just clarify that it's only for makeup okay <laughs> And so anyway, I did a little shopping and had a little stuff waiting for me when I got home. But while I was out of town, you guys know, I was able to have fun playing around in the Norvina Volume 1. I love that palette, okay? But it's time to try out some new things. So I wasn't sure what I wanted to do today, you guys. So I'm doing a full face. I don't have a full face of new stuff, but I do have a few new things that I want to play with with you guys. Now for palettes... I kind of went back and forth because I got the new Power and Colored Rain palette, which is gorgeous. But I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm in the mood for a whole like purple pinky type look today. But that palette is bomb. But I decided to go ahead and play around with the new Juvia's Warrior 3. Now, y'all, this palette just dropped. And right after I purchased this palette, they dropped another palette. But I ain't tripping because I'm not buying that palette. <laughs> and y'all know why. It's a beautiful palette, but it's a little bit too neutral for my taste. So anyway, this is the Warrior 3. Gorgeous, you guys. This has to be one of the most beautiful palettes I've ever seen in my life. I mean, of course, their artistry and design is always the bomb. But just the color scheme. This palette, when I opened it up, y'all, look at that. I mean, just, it's gorgeous. Let me give y'all a closer look if I can. But it's gorgeous. These colors are beautiful together. The design, the beautiful woman. Oh my gosh, the makeup, everything is just gorgeous. I love this palette. So we're gonna play around with this today. I don't know what I'm gonna do because I'm not really feeling all that colorful, but y'all know me. So anyway, now for foundation, I want to play around or try out this Estee Lauder Double Wear. Of course, it's not new, but it's new to me, okay? <laughs> so I want to see what all the hubbub is about. I have the shade LW9. Now y'all know I can't see. Ooh, chat, it's upside down. 6W1. <laughs> 6W1 Sandalwood. Mm hot mess anyway so I'm playing this today now the concealer I'm going to try out is one I got from Target and it's this brand CAI I don't know if it's pronounced Psy or just CAI I'm not sure but I got this concealer I also got their foundation but I'm not sure about this foundation you guys I don't know but I'm gonna try this out in another video but I do want to try out this concealer today just because I want to try it. So I will be trying that out today, but not that foundation. I got this from my local beauty supply. This is from Kiss New York. It's the Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation, okay? I saw this in my beauty supply and it was like $7.99. So I went ahead and snagged it. I'm going to use a little bit of this to set my foundation. And I got a couple of new bronzer highlighter duos, you guys. These are from Minted. And I bought both of them because both of them looked bomb to me. And I wasn't really sure which I would prefer. So they came out with two duos. This one is season one and season two. And this is a collab. It says Minted and Ashley Blair Featherson. I don't know who that is, y'all. <laughs> Half the time, I don't know who these people are who do these collabs. But if the product looks bomb, I'll try it out. So the packaging, you guys, look at this packaging. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It's like this rose gold, shiny, mirrored packaging. Just so bomb. And... There's a little sheet inside, but this is what these duos look like. Let me see if I can give you a closer look. So this is season one. 
So it is a lighter shade of bronzer along with a lighter shade of highlight. So I just, oh my gosh, they're just gorgeous. And then season two, let me show you what season two looks like. And it's so cute on the back. They have the dual tone color and then it has which season it is on the back as well. So let me pop this puppy open. Okay, so this is season two. So season two is a little bit darker. It would help if I held them up so that you can compare. But season two is a little bit darker. So this is season two over here and this is season one. So you can see season two is a little bit darker. So I was thinking I could use this kind of like to contour with. And then season one is a little bit lighter tone. So you can see they're kind of close, but season two is definitely darker and the highlight is definitely darker too. So they're both very, very pretty. Can't wait to play with them, okay? So anyways, you guys, Oh, and let me show you. I did pick up a couple of the new lipsticks from Revolution Pro. These are some of the satin matte lipsticks in this gorgeous, have you guys seen this gorgeous like leopard print packaging? So very cute. But let me show you the two shades that I picked up. This first one is Vamped. And the lipstick is also in this beautiful leopard gold and matte, shiny and matte uh, packaging. So this one is vamp, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so this is velvet. So as you can see, it has that pinky rose, it, it's like that rosy tone to it, but it also kind of feels like a nude. So very pretty, very pretty. I don't know, I'm probably gonna get stuck by the time I get to my lips. But anyways, I've been talking way too long in this intro. So let's go ahead and just jump into prepping my eyes. I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way concealer to prep my eyelids. And this one is in the color Caramel. Okay, so my eyelids are prepped, you guys. Um, let's go ahead and dive into this palette. I kind of want to do some quick swatches. Do I want to do swatches? Yeah, let me do some quick swatches and then I'll try and figure out what I'm going to do. Whoa, okay. <laughs> so... This is the whole palette swatched. Beautiful, very nicely pigmented. I don't know, it didn't really help me decide what to do. So I'm just gonna start throwing color on my eyes, you guys, and see what happens. <laughs> okay, very pretty. I think I'm going to start in my crease with the purple. So yeah, I'm gonna start with the purple in my crease. Is Juvia's formula getting even better? Cause, ooh, the pigmentation on this shadow is crazy, <laughs> crazy. Okay, those probably aren't even, but I'm not in the mood to stress out over my eyes today. So, <laughs> I think I'm going to go into this red here. It's kind of like an orangey red. I don't know, is that orange or is that red? Cause it, it looks like red to me, but it looks kind of like an orangey red. So I'm gonna use that to blend out the outer portion of the purple. And I might use some pink to blend out the inner portion of the purple. Now I'm just going back in with a little bit of that purple to try and blend those two together a little bit better. Okay, now I am going to go into the pink and I'm going to just kind of blend out the inner corner Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut this crease so we can play with some of these blues. I'm going to use my Makeup Revolution Cut Crease Canvas to cut my crease. And what I do when I use my cut crease canvas is I always use my own brush. I never use the applicator in here because it's thick, messy. You can probably see the hairs are all wonky. <laughs> so yeah, I use my own flat brush to apply my cut crease canvas. Okay, 
so I just kind of cleaned up my edges after cutting my crease so what I want to do on the outer portion of that cut crease I'm gonna go back into this purple yeah I think I'm gonna do like a gradient so I think I'm gonna do like purple pink yellow and blue I don't know I'm gonna figure it out along the way <laughs> Okay, so I have the purple, red, and yellow kind of gradiating, <laughs> gradiating, is that word, in a gradient on my eye. And I wanna play around with this gorgeous blue shimmer. So I'm going to place that on my inner corner and hopefully it don't look crazy. As you can see, I kind of started dragging that blue through my crease a little bit. And so, I don't know what's happening, but I just kind of feel like dragging that through my crease a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I feel like the shades blended very, very nicely together. I also feel like they are very nicely pigmented very nicely pigmented so i'm going to go ahead throw on some eyeliner i think and prep my face so we can move on and try out this estee lauder double wear foundation okay so to prep my face before my foundation i'm going in with my elf blurring primer serum so i'm going to use some of this before i go in with the foundation I like this stuff it does have a bit of a tacky feel to it so if you don't like stuff feeling a little bit tacky on your face you might not like it okay you guys so I'm really excited to try this Estee Lauder double wear foundation and see how it works on me hopefully I picked the right shade sandalwood we'll see I'm gonna go in with my new morphe m439 brush I got this um, out of my hauler bag. So I'm gonna try this out today. Yeah, I didn't wash it. <laughs> so sue me. So sue me because I'm about to use it. Okay, so this foundation has a twist off cap and a pretty decent consistency. So it's not too thick and not too loose. So it feels really good going on. It smells kind of nice. It's weird because it kind of has like a perfumey smell, but it also kind of smells a little bit like paint. <laughs> so eh, it doesn't bother me. I feel like I've been trying out a lot of different foundations lately. And it's really been a lot of fun just getting familiar with different brands, different finishes of foundations, you know, at different price ranges and stuff like that um but i found the last few foundations i've really really liked and that's not always the case <laughs> a lot of times i'll go through a whole series of trying foundations and i hate them all so this is um it's been kind of nice to enjoy drugstore as far as drugstore as well as high-end foundations that i actually like I don't know how I feel about this brush. It's kind of rounded. So with the flat ones, you can kind of get around your um, eyebrows really, really easily. With this one, it's a little bit more tricky because it is rounded. Okay, so right now I just have on one coat or one layer and I think it looks pretty nice. It's very lightweight. Um, 
it feels like or it looks like to me in the viewfinder at least like it has a little bit of a neutral undertone to this shade i don't know i could be wrong though but this is what one coat looks like so for this foundation it says it's for all skin tones all undertones double wear stay in place makeup is made in your shade matte foundation that looks flawless and natural liquid foundation that feels lightweight and comfortable you won't believe it's super long wear no touch-ups needed transfer resistant waterproof foundation lasts in hot and humid weather throughout your busy day blah 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 covers imperfections buildable medium to full coverage foundation okay so buildable medium to full that's what i was curious about because i would like a little bit more coverage so i'm gonna go in with just a little bit more and check out this CAI or side concealer that I got from Target the color that I got is bronze so <laughs> we'll see how this works out today I feel like it might dry kind of quick because it is kind of thin this color is very very light way lighter than I like to use <laughs> So we're gonna be bright today, y'all. Okay. I might have to add some of my uh, L'Oreal or ColourPop or something just to kind of warm it up a little bit because this is very light. So yeah, it is a little bit thinner than I would like for a concealer, and I would say it's about medium coverage. I def I wouldn't say this is a full coverage concealer. Okay, and since that's a bit light for my liking, I'm going to go ahead and go in with some of my e.l.f. Camo Concealer, Deep Cinnamon. concealer <laughs> I like it it works for me it's full coverage I like the tone the shade the way it feels I like it okay so now I'm just going to powder up with a little bit of I left my collab powder out of town with my husband so plan B I'm gonna go in with some of my black radiance loose setting powder under my eyes before I move on to that powder that I got from the beauty supply so now that I look all nice and pasty, let's go ahead and try out this Kiss New York Pro Touch Matte Powder Foundation just to kind of set my face. And this is in the color Toffee Caramel. And this is what she looks like. There's no mirror, but it looks like a nice warm color. For some reason, I've been having a lot of misses when it comes to powders, powder foundations and stuff lately. And I've been having hits when it comes to actual liquid foundations. So for me to find this at my local drugstore for $7.99, I'm not mad at it. I like it. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish bronzing up, contour and all that stuff for the rest of my face. Fin we'll come back and finish these eyes and then see what lip we're gonna put on today y'all I totally forgot I needed to play with these minted bronzer and highlights I'm so irritated right now I totally forgot okay this is what I'm gonna do since season two is darker I'm gonna go in and use this the bronzer side um, to add a little bit more contour to my face and then I think for season one I'm gonna go in here and use the highlight okay so <laughs> Ooh, yeah. okay so I'm just gonna go in Ooh, a little bit of powder a little bit of powder Ooh, a little bit of powder <laughs> So tap lightly, honey, because you will get powder. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay. 
I'm gonna be looking like I stepped right off the beach. <laughs> Ooh, child. Cause I already used my Morphe Glamour Bronze. Y'all know I love that stuff. So I already used that on my face. So, honey child. I'm gonna look muddy in a minute. So y'all, don't go as heavy as I am cause I'm going mad heavy right now. I'm looking nice and cocoa crispy, okay? All right, KK, knock it off. You can stop at any time, honey. Stop at any time. Okay, so now I'm just going to lightly go over with my powder brush. All this powder and I'm still shining on my forehead. Hot mess. Okay, so now I'm gonna go into season one and I'm going to use the highlighter out of season one. So the highlighter is over here on this side. So, okay, so it's not that bold, like. Yeah, it looks like a very nice soft gold highlight. Let me swatch the highlight from season two because this one looks really dark, so. So this is the highlighter from season two. Oh, it's not that dark. It just looks darker in the pan, but it's not that dark. I don't know if you can really see that. So the top one is season one and the bottom one is season two. I really like this highlight. It's like, it's nice and soft. It's kind of like what a highlight is supposed to be, what it's supposed to look like, but you can build it up, you know? So I like it very nice. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and finish up these eyes. You guys know I love colored eyeliners. So I'm going in with one of my LA Girl Gel eyeliners, and this is a pink one. So I'm just going to use this on my lower lash line. These eyeliners have proven to be extremely pigmented. <laughs> so if you don't like a lot of color, then I would say steer clear of these because these are really bright. I think I want to take and put some of this purple on the outer portion of my lower lash line. And I want to put some of this green on the inner portion. So let's pray that that looks okay. a little bit of this lighter blue shimmer shade here in my inner corner. I might put on some lashes for y'all today. Not on camera. <laughs> but uh, let me figure out these lips though. Should I do a nude lip or should we do some color, you guys? Yes, I got another delivery. <laughs> so I'll line my lips with my ColourPop BFF4 lip liner, and then I'll go in with my ABH Sapia lip gloss. All these new lip products, and I'm just using what I already got. <laughs> but I think that looks nice with this bright eye. Okay, guys, I'm back. Yes, I did put on some lashes for y'all, okay? And I don't wanna hear no ish about one little wonky, one hanging to the side, one is crooked. I don't wanna hear none of that, okay? <laughs> y'all know how I feel about lashes, but I went ahead and put some on for y'all today. These are some Tati lashes, so I can't read that, but it looks like it is the style TL38. It says Brazilian hair 3D Tati lashes. They're really cute. I like them. They're very lightweight. They're a little hard for me to put on like all lashes, but more so I think because the band is really flexible. So if you like flexible bands, then you probably like these, but I don't know. I probably need something a little bit more firm. That's what she said. <laughs> anyway. So yeah, I have on these Tati lashes and uh, they coming right off. Let's just do a quick recap, okay? Starting with the Warrior 3 by Juvia's. Y'all, I'm feeling this palette. 
this palette is fire okay i like it a lot i mean i think the cover art is just absolutely gorgeous and after doing this eye look using <laughs> almost all the shades out of this palette i think the cover art really reflects the colors in the palette the purples and pinks and everything but um and you know with the reds and kind of orangey shades but it definitely does it's very very pretty i love these shimmery blues they're gorgeous and the mattes mad pigmented you guys now i know juvia's formula has always been good but honestly i'm just like is y'all getting y'all formula getting better juvia's okay because honey this palette is fire i like it i say if you're thinking about it if it's on your radar, it's definitely worth the $20 and the 10% discount you can get from using anybody's code, <laughs> okay? So, I really like it. I love this palette, you guys. I think it's beautiful. I actually think it's one of the most beautiful palettes I have in my collection right now. I mean, this cover art, y'all, it's fierce, okay? Bomb. Okay, foundation. This Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation I like it. I like the finish. It's a nice soft matte finish. The color that I chose, sandalwood, I think it's a pretty decent match for me. I mean, I know this foundation, I really had no question as far as whether or not it was going to be a good one because it's had years and years of rave reviews. So <laughs> I'm just glad I finally got to try it. I like it. I mean, of course, I'll have to see how it wears on me, how I feel, you know, when I take it off and all that good stuff and how it plays with some of my more regular products as well but first impression i like it it's very nice very comfortable nice medium to full coverage you know i went in with about two layers to get a nice full coverage but i like it no complaints thus far this sai or cai concealer that i got from target I don't like it. It's just not for me. I'm not saying it's a bad concealer, but it's definitely not for me. It's not enough coverage. It's a little bit watery. It dried kind of fast. And I didn't like the shade that I chose. But, you know, that has nothing to do with whether or not I like the actual concealer. It's just not thick and full coverage enough for me. But if you're someone who's looking for maybe a light to medium <laughs> coverage, then um, this might this might work for you but for me not so much i'll probably end up using this to prep my lids or something um for shadow now this kiss new york pro touch matte powder foundation that i got from my local beauty supply y'all don't sleep on kiss i have gotten several products from kiss that i actually really like lip products eyeliners now powder I like this stuff and they had some really nice shades too. They had a good number of shades for women of color. You know, a lot of us shop at local beauty supplies, you know, to get our hair and whatnot. <laughs> but you know, when they have the makeup and stuff, I always have to stop and check out and see what's happening. So I've never seen this before. So I don't know if it's new, but it's new to me and I like it. I like what it did to my face today. The coverage is nice. I like the color that I chose for myself. And like I said, I'll have to see how it plays for the rest of the wear and as I use it more, cause I'm definitely using this more. Lately I've had bad luck with powder foundations and powders for my face, either being too cool tone, too dark, too ashy, too whatever. So me finding this today just on a whim, I'm very happy about it. So I'm, I'm looking forward to using that. And lastly, I think that I tried out today, these minted bronzer and highlighter duos, y'all. I like these. I'm really upset that I went in with some of my Morphe bronzer first and forgot to use these because of course, since I used like three bronzers today, <laughs> I'm like super duper bronzed, but I know that I like these. The darker one, which is this one, season two, is a perfect shade for me to have a warm contour. Perfect for a warm contour. And the lighter shade, definitely a beautiful bronze for me. The highlighters were gorgeous, as you saw when I swatched them. Very, very soft. 
very natural they're not harsh and you know how you put a highlighter on and you're trying you're beating it to death <laughs> trying to get it to tone down or whatever um these are perfect because you can build them up slowly they're not anything crazy i just i really like these which i knew i would though when andrea renee used them i knew i would like them because they're gorgeous the packaging the product just everything so i'm really really happy that they did this collab with ashley blair featherson like i said i don't know who she is but honey thank you thank you <laughs> i love these okay so anyways you guys that's it for all the stuff i tried today hopefully my lashes don't look too crazy and you guys had a great time hanging out with me to try these products so thanks so much for watching and i will see you on my next video toodles